us to the 11th episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the 2023 GCE Science Paper 2, which is Chemistry. So if you are new to this channel, consider hitting the subscribe button so that each time I upload a new video, you get the notification. Should you find this video to be helpful, please consider liking, also indicating in the comment section so that I'm aware that you are finding these videos helpful. Let us look at question B7. Describe how the action of heat on the carbonate of a metal depends on the position of the metal in the reactivity series. So if you look at this one, you will notice that the action of heat on the carbonate of a metal will depends on the position of the metal on the reactivity series. That is to say, the higher up the series a metal is, the more reactive the metal is, so the carbonate will be more stable in that case. That is to say, the carbonates of more reactive metals require higher temperature to decompose. For instance, sodium is very reactive metal, so the sodium carbonate is very stable and it requires higher temperature to decompose. On the other hand, copper is a very unreactive metal, so copper carbonate is quite unstable and decomposes at a relatively low temperature. So it's those principles that we need to bear in mind. So how can we answer this now in lighting? To summarize what I've just explained, because those are the key points that you need to know. So we can say the iron up the reactivity series is the metal the more stable is the carbonate hence it requires high temperature to decompose. That is what you need to light. Question B. Transition metals and their compounds can be used as a catalyst. Explain what is meant by the term catalyst. So again, in this case, just to define what a catalyst. So a catalyst, in short, is a substance that increases the rate of chemical reaction without itself undergoing any permanent chemical change. So to be conservative, you say it changes the rate of chemical reaction. So it enables a chemical reaction to change the relate at which it proceeds under a given condition. That's what the catalyst does. So just to put in lighting what I've said, so a catalyst leaf arm to a substance, which can also be an element, so that's what I'm saying, a substance that change so that change the rate of a chemical reaction chemical reaction without it self undergoing permanent chemical change. That's what a catalyst is. Loma number two, explain why metals are good conductors of electricity and heat. So you just need to give the reason. So because explaining why, so it will be because they contain large put the boundary large number 
of the local raised electrons that are free or mobile that's the reason behind so it's because of that so we are saying metals are good conductor of electricity and it because they contain a large number of free electrons so these electrons are able to move around freely and collide with one another propagating it and electricity through the metal so these in other ways which maybe just emphasize chloride with each other is proper getting it in that way if you do that you are good to go you get these five marks so i'm just giving you more details so that in you understand the logic behind thank you for joining me in this episode please join me in the next episode as we look at question eight